Hello, my name's Clark and I'm with Schwartz Industries. Today we're going to do a walk around on the Schwartz SuperVac Super Updraft parking lot sweeper. The Super Updraft can be mounted on the Isuzu cab over chassis. It can also be mounted on the Chevrolet 2500 HD chassis or the Ford F-250. Today we're going to take a look at the sweeper uh, mounted on the Isuzu truck. Uh, the Isuzu chassis is on the NPR. It's a 12,000 GV RW truck. Uh, it has a General Motors uh, V8 Vortec engine with a 6.6 .6 liter. This particular Suzu chassis is equipped with the heavy duty front bumper. A lot of drivers will use the bumper to push push carts out of the way, uh, shopping carts, etc. cetera. Uh, keeps from scratching up the, the bumper that comes on the truck. The Suzu truck also comes standard with an eight inch parabolic mirror. Parabolic mirror is used uh, so the driver can easily see the curb room when it's in use. For safety while sweeping, the Super Updraft comes with uh, two different bar light options for the, uh, for the cab of the truck. Uh, we have a 16 inch LED bar light on this truck and we also offer a 56 inch bar light as well. Super Updraft comes equipped with a backpack blower box, as you'll see here. This, this blower box will hold uh, the biggest blower you can find. Uh, you can also put a handheld blower in there as well, but uh, has a compartment that slides all the way across the uh, frame of the truck, so uh, backpack blower fits perfectly into the box. The Super Updraft is equipped with a 12 volt pressurized dust suppression system. It's used to keep dust down while you're in the process of sweeping. Back here we have the water tank, it's a 25 gallon water tank. Here we have the, the uh, 12 volt pump, pressurized pump. To to pump the water. And we spray water in two different locations. We have a location here at, at the curb room to keep dust down while you're using the curb room. And then we also have two spray nozzles inside the hopper that catch the dust as it comes into the hopper and drops it down into the bottom of the hopper. So the dust control, the dust control just keeps dust down while you're sweeping, keeps from putting the uh, dust back up into the air. The Super Updraft has a three yard stainless steel hopper. The screen inside the hopper is stainless steel. All the latches are stainless steel. The hopper comes with a lifetime warranty against rust through, which is a big, uh, big benefit for contractors because you basically you never have to worry about replacing your hopper. The Super Updraft comes with an 81 inch wide sweeping head. Uh, we have two skid plates, one on each side that are layered with tungsten carbide underneath the bottom to keep them from, from wearing out. Uh, these skid plates actually have a two year warranty. Uh, on the sweeping head we have a, a 10 inch intake tube. This is where all the debris is vacuumed up and deposited into the hopper. Uh, the, we use 10 inch tubes because it gives you better airflow. You get more volume of air going through a smaller a smaller hose, that's why we use a 10 inch hose versus a 12 inch hose. The Super Updraft has three different engine options. We have a Honda engine, a Kohler engine, and a Briggs and Stratton engine. We, util we utilize an auxiliary engine on our sweepers because it, uh, it allows the operator to vary his RPMs. He can get greater RPMs when he needs to. If he's sweeping in light debris, he can use lower RPMs. But if he gets into heavier debris, heavier dirt, sand, gravel, he can ramp the RPMs up to sweep whatever conditions he needs to sweep in. Uh, some machines don't have auxiliary engines and they're kind of limited in what they can sweep because they can't ramp their RPMs up enough to sweep in the conditions that they need. On the passenger side of the fan housing, we have a air bleeder door located right here. Uh, and we have a latch where you can actually open and close the door. What this door does, it, it allows you to control the amount of air that you push down and across the sweeping head. If you're sweeping in real light conditions like leaves, paper, things like that, you open the door up, you exhaust more air out of the, out of the fan housing, and it gives you more vacuum down at the sweeping head. Um, 
if you're pushing too much air down and across the sweeping head when you're sweeping real light material, it can tend to blow the material away from the sweeping head rather than vacuuming it in underneath the head. Uh, on, the, on the other hand, if you're sweeping heavier debris like heavier sand, dirt, or gravel, if you'll close this door off, you push more air down and across the sweeping head to get the debris over to the pickup, si pickup side. Here we have the uh, a 12 volt DC hydraulic pump. This hydraulic pump is used to raise and lower your hopper and your sweeping head. Uh, the benefit of using a hydraulic pump, a DC pump, to do these functions is it will allow you to raise your head and your hopper if your auxiliary engine is not running. Some sweepers raise and lower the sweeping head and the curb broom hydraulically. And if, they're, if the auxiliary motor goes down for any reason, they're kind of stuck. They can't raise their head, can't raise their hopper. With this DC pump, you can raise your head, you can raise your hopper, you can raise your curb broom, and then you can go get maintenance on the truck. The hopper on the Super Updraft has two inspection doors, one on each side. These inspection doors just make it easy for the driver to uh, inspect the load, uh, a lot of times when you're sweeping, you'll be in the parking lot, there'll be debris that you can't actually sweep up. So you, this makes it easy for the driver to get out, pick it up, throw the debris into the hopper, continue on sweeping. Also, the, uh, the hopper has a bolt-on intake tube. Uh, this is a benefit because uh, as you're sweeping, you sweep a lot of sand, dirt, and gravel. Over time, you can get a sandblasting effect on the metal of your intake tube. So we put a bolt on tube, just makes it real easy where if you were to, to wear holes in it, rather than having to cut out a weld, a weldment on a welded intake tube and just unbolt it, bolt a new one on, you're good to go. So the sweeping width on the Super Updraft is 81 inches with the sweeping head, but if you sweep them with the curb broom down, you actually have a 96 inch sweeping path. The dust control inside the hopper consists of two spray nozzles on each side of the intake tube. Uh, again, that's just to hit the dust as it comes into the hopper, puts it into the bottom of the hopper and keeps it from being emitted back up into the air. Now, as additional, uh, additional dust control, uh, all of our sweepers, you can actually, you can get a spray bar mounted on the front bumper of the truck and you can also get a spray bar mounted inside the hopper to the screen for additional dust control. Curb broom also comes equipped with an LED light, and makes it easy for the driver to see the uh, curb broom at night or in stormy conditions. The Super Updraft comes equipped with a 26 inch diameter curb broom. Uh, this particular sweeper has the steel broom bristles. As an option, you can also get poly broom bristles. Uh, in my opinion, the steel bristles do work better. They dig in better, help get the dirt and debris rocks, gravel out of, the, uh, out of the curb line. Super Updraft also has two storage tubes that run across the frame of the truck. Allows you to carry a broom, shovel, straight hoe with you, something like, you know, something that will help you uh, do a better job in cleaning and also help you clean the hopper out. Use a straight hoe to scrape. Sometimes you'll get mud in the hopper, helps you scrape the mud and dirt and debris out of the, uh, out of the hopper. Super Updraft is also equipped with two large toolboxes, one on each side of the truck, uh, plenty big enough for the driver to carry, you know, a gas can, tools, uh, trash bags, any, anything he needs to carry with him during the night to help him do his job. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about the rear of the sweeper. Uh, on the rear we have several things to talk about. One is the lighting. Uh, you notice we have all LED lighting across the rear bumper. Um, we have a backup camera, which comes standard on all Schwartz sweepers now. Uh, the back of the hopper, we have uh, these amber strobes. Again, just safety lighting. Make your job a lot safer when you're in the parking lot sweeping at night. Also in the back, we have an optional trash bag rack. It's a full width rack. Goes basically completely across the back end of the truck. This allows your drivers when they're changing the uh, trash cans in the parking lot at night, just to uh, stack the trash bags onto the trash bag rack, and then drive around to the uh, back to the dumpsters and throw the trash bags into the dumpsters. It also 
We have additional storage area in the back, underneath here, behind the trash bag rack. Again, just gives you a place to carry extra equipment, the extra tools that you may need uh, to do your job. The Super Up Draft is equipped with a backup camera so the driver can see what's taking place behind him or help him back up to the dumpsters. Uh, these backup cameras come standard on all short sweepers. The Super Up Draft has a 69 inch dumping height which will, which will allow your drivers to get in most uh, any dumpster that you'll find on a retail uh, shopping center. On the passenger side of the hopper, uh, we also we have another inspection door. Again, this inspection door can just be used to, uh, to throw things into the hopper that you can't actually pick up uh, with the sweeper truck. We have uh, another toolbox on this side, again, just where the driver can carry extra tools with him. And we have a uh, dump door prop rod located right here. What this does is just makes it real easy to raise your dump door, secure it in place, you can throw items into the hopper, maybe trash bags if you need to. If you don't have the trash bag rack, you can just throw the trash bags directly into the hopper. And it also makes it easy when you prop the dump door open, uh, when you raise the hopper up to get it washed out at night. Uh, it just makes it real easy, gives you access to the screen, clean the hopper out.